What is going on guys? Sean Don coming back. Episode 9 of the weekly training vlog on my road to Tokyo 2020. Uh, yeah, second week with the 5k hammer. Uh, and it uh, was definitely a typical week too for me. Um, Monday and Tuesday, so the first two sessions of the week and throwing just did not feel good. Like physically I feel decent, but... Um, my body just was not coordinated. Things just were not working the way I wanted them to. Uh, just felt like things were disconnected between my own body, like upper body, lower body, left side, right side, stuff like that. It wasn't working and communicating uh, effectively. And because of that, it, my body's communication with the hammer and vice versa was poor. Uh, poor connection equals poor technique. Um, as you guys can see, not the best stuff happening. I think there's a couple throws in here where I'm like, yeah, that, that was okay. Um, but overall, just not feeling the best early in the week. I think that's partly because last week, that AMRAP on Friday was still a little bit much for my body. And it didn't know what to do with it. Um, also, just throwing the 5K in general is tough. Um, it's, you know, very high speed, very high velocity. It's very uh, kind of taxing on the nervous system. So 16 throws with that, you know, on top of all my other volume is um, kind of a lot to handle. So, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I guess now's a good time to mention I'm using a different camera for this vlog. Well, not, not this video. This is just shot on my iPhone slow-mo uh, because the camera that I was using died. Um, I got a Canon 70D from my buddy Cullen, and so I've been putting that to use this week. Um, it's much heftier, much higher quality video, as you guys can see on the shots that were not slow motion. Um, color's a little bit cleaner, crisper, and things just look a little bit different. As you can tell, my framing is a little bit off because I just don't quite know how to use these lenses and stuff yet. Um, but yeah. If you guys can tell the difference in the camera quality and you want me to, you know, keep using it, let me know down in the comments because honestly, I don't know if I'm going to keep using it. I don't want to risk breaking it when I could just use my little, you know, G7X and uh, take care of things with the handheld, you know, whatever it's called, not handheld, point and shoot. Yeah, little guy. But yeah. Comment down below if you guys can actually tell the difference in the quality of the footage. So that way I know if I want to keep using it or not. Like I said, probably not. But if you guys are like, hey, this quality is way better, then I guess let's go with it. Um, so camera production related stuff aside, this is still day two uh, of throwing. And same thing, once again, disconnected. Um, yeah, just not, not great fighting for feelings uh tuesday was a little bit more i guess high energy uh i was a little bit more frustrated so um as you can see things just i don't know not the best and some of my reactions you can tell uh yeah but um back to day one lifting i don't know kind of the same stuff as last week just a little bit heavier higher intensity uh the muscle snatch the the back squat no it wasn't muscle snatch sorry cleans back squat um, stuff like that, five by two, uh, higher percentage, 85 instead of 70%. So starting to load up there, um, definitely started to feel that kind of loading by the end of the week. But, um, once again, week two of a training program is usually when I feel the most fatigued. Uh, week one, I'm still feeling fresh. My body doesn't really know what to handle, you know, doesn't really know what's going on. And then week two, I start to feel fatigued and get a little bit down. And then week three is when my body starts finally adapting and things usually pick up from there. So um, same day two lifting as last week, just conditioning. Uh, eight sets of extensive rebounds instead of six. And yeah, the rest of the week was kind of crappy with the weather. Uh, it rained nonstop for the entire training session on Wednesday. Um, as you can see, the pad was nice and wet. Uh, I was nice and wet things were nice and wet decided to embrace it and just go with the flow jump in that puddle get the feet wet and um, make the most out of it because let's be real with 2020 olympic trials being in eugene oregon there's about a 60 percent to 70 percent chance that it's going to rain on the day we compete so i got to be prepared get used to training in the rain um 
week, or uh, sorry, day three lifting. Uh, once again, same as last week, higher intensity though, lower volume, like I said, five by two at 85% instead of 70%. As you can see, everybody's digging my new camera I got, like I said, they really want to show out and put on for Sean Don, Sean Don's vlog, then go for it, I guess. I don't know. Clowns, bunch of clowns. Uh, so yeah, muscle snatch, five by two, 80K, um, dumbbell Z press. You can see the struggle is real here. This stuff was, like I said, starting to feel heavy. I felt strong, like I felt relatively stable, but uh, just like I said, that fatigue was really catching up with me by uh, day three. Um, this was one of those lifts, you know, when you, before every set, you gotta kind of brace yourself and be like, ah, shit, here we go. Um, but overall, the movements themselves felt strong. It was just that little mental um, boost I needed to give myself to really uh, crush this lift, I guess, if you will. Um, yeah, and then another, uh, I guess a weighted pull-up PR, sort of, I don't know. Once again, doing reps, multiple reps and multiple sets with an extra 10 kilos on my back is a new thing for me. Um, so, yeah, feeling strong. Like I said, fatigued, but strong. Hopefully week three, things get even better. Um, day four, Friday, took Thursday off again, just active recovery. Um, walk and ice bath contrast whatever you want to call it just a little bit of recovery work on that off day to freshen things up for the last half of the week and then um didn't really help though because like i said things were just feeling fatigued uh come friday the sun was shining but the grass was still wet the pad was like dangerously slippery um because there was no standing water on it so we decided to throw off of our other random pad that we have um just kind of free balling it on this fine friday um and things actually started to crisp up a little bit. I mean, like I said, Monday and Tuesday were not great. Wednesday was a, a little bit better. And then uh, Friday was my... Uh, Friday was feeling like I was starting to put things back together. And then Saturday, things finally came together. Um, but as you guys can see, back in the weight room on day four, box jumps. You see young Jamie, strength coach, extraordinaire, taking his very fine, fine notes on my box jump putting on once again for the vlog <laughs> um friday was fun sort of uh more split squats no hamstring popping which was good i think it's because i'm going to start using these uh, olympic lifters when i squat take a little stress off the hamstrings put it on the quads um we'll see how that goes and then uh amrap on front squats again this time i had three by three plus instead of three by five plus uh five kilos up on all my sets and once again, these felt a little bit better than last week. I know I was just doing three reps, um, but still felt a little bit more stable. Once again, kind of strong, but uh, not quite powerful, you know, as if I was fresh. Once again, just general fatigue. Um, this plus set with 130, I got eight reps. Once again, like you can see, much more stable. I'm, I'm using knee wraps, but they're not super tight. They're literally like more like knee sleeves, just keeping my knees warm. Um, because I figured out as I get stronger, my muscles get tighter. And especially when my lower body gets tight, my knees hurt. And so I'm trying to do my best to keep that uh, at bay. I'm stretching, doing recovery, mobility stuff. And uh, the knee wraps are just to keep them a little bit warm so they feel a little bit less creaky in my early warm-up sets. Um, so not really getting any physical boost out of it. It's just more so things feel comfortable instead of tight and in pain, I guess. Um, Accessory stuff on Friday, pretty straightforward. Dumbbell row, back raise, um, increasing volume a little bit and intensity a little bit. Um, just trying to build week to week and continue to progress. Um, and then finally, day five. This is session 10. This was a higher intensity training session for me. This is a more typical program now. Compared to last program, I had a really high intensity session on day five, which is not typical. And now I'm back to the 310-15 sort of thing. Ooh, excuse me. Hiccups. And, uh, yeah, uh, session 10, like I said, normally a higher intensity session. As you guys can see, a little thumbs up. Things, technique was feeling pretty crispy, um, at least once I got in the turns. But as you can still, there's, as you can still see, there's kind of some strain occasionally. Not the most consistent day. Um, feeling was still coming back. And then it was just a whole combination of, I practiced on the rain some days. I practiced on a 
you know, on a dry pad one day and then a wet pad and then there's, it's actually raining and so many different variables. Um, it was hard to have a consistent technique. Uh, and even today when things felt the best of the, the whole week, uh, I still had trouble kind of finding my balance and finding my grip in that entry so I can really lay the ball in there well like I need to. Um, I found that my right foot was slipping probably about 30 to 50% of the time. Um, and a matter of that is once again, just kind of being balanced, but once again, being connected to the hammer, um, more repetitions in this kind of wet, rainy, uh, practice conditions will eventually make me just figure it out. So that's why I try not to shy away from the whole practicing in the rain thing. Um, like I said, trials next year, there's probably a good chance it's going to rain. So I might as well get used to it now. Um, it's been abnormally rainy. Wow. Abnormally rainy here in Southern California. So, uh, I'm taking that as a blessing from good old mother nature. So, uh, and then day five lifting, once again, same as Tuesday, active recovery, general stuff. So thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you subscribe, like the video and share the video with someone, your coach, your teammate, a friend, your grandma, it doesn't matter. Share the video with someone. It helps me out. It helps the throwing community out. It helps you and your friends out. Let's all get better together. And Take the hammer throw to the next level. I don't know. Some Someone go break the world record someday. I don't know. Sean Don, peace and out. Until next week.